Well, it's already been an exciting start to the 2022 Olympic Games, especially when it comes to women's skiing. Fresh off her run in women's moguls is silver medalist <laughs> Jalen Cobb. Welcome! Thank you for having me. Okay, so are you used to that intro yet? Silver Olympic silver medalist. Is it sinking in? I'm starting to get used to it. Yeah, I like the sound of it a lot. <laughs> me too. And you were one of the first athletes to come home with a medal. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you compare, what was different this time around versus four years ago in Pyeongchang? Like, what, what do you think, how was your, you know, your head going into these games? Yeah, I mean, I felt like I had the weight of the world on me in 2018, like going in ranked number one and there's just so much pressure mostly for myself to course, you know yeah. be on that podium um, and this time around I was just able to enjoy the experience and just you know focus on doing what I could control and that was just skiing my run every time oh my god I mean it's hard to just enjoy the experience <laughs> when you've got that much pressure but you know what's so fun for us because we're so far away is seeing all of you uh, on social media, I mean, just like hanging out or doing your uniform fittings. It's just nice to kind of see that. But um, other than winning the silver medal, what was <laughs> kind of one of your best memories of the whole Olympics event? I mean, I think going through that with all the other girls on the team, um, it was kind of fun. I was the only girl on the team to go to be going back for another Olympics. It was all their first time. Oh my gosh. Um, and so to Even kind of veteran. like. Yeah, and <laughs> kind of see their excitement through it all, like with opening ceremonies and everything, and and share that experience with them was really special. Yeah, you also got to share it with your boyfriend. You know, went viral when he was cheering you on <laughs> when you won. You know, he's going to compete a little bit later. I imagine we're going to see you cheering him on, but I'm so curious, do you get as nervous for him as you do for yourself? I think I get more nervous for him. Really? I mean, I thought, like, especially this time, like, really, like, calm, cool, and collected <laughs> competing, you know, like, pretty relaxed up in the Star Cape, but um, I get very nervous watching him ski. I'm just, like, I imagine yeah. that's your mom when she watches you. I heard that your mom, you were, obviously, you <laughs> called your mom first. She was the first person you called when you won. But, I mean, she's a decorated skier in her own right. She won the X Games. First of all, how cool is that? <laughs> like, what a cool mom to have. But did she give you any advice? That's when she won, and that's you as a little kid. Did she um, give you any advice when you were growing up, just how to prepare yourself for something like this? Yeah, I mean, I think the best advice she gave me was just to have fun with it, you know? Um, and I kind of have my my motto of deliver the love and that like love for skiing and competing and just doing my thing was learned from her yeah you know and that we, there's a lot of talk about the pressure that these athletes are under we just mentioned a little a uh, moment ago but some are, some thrive under that pressure and some buckle under the pressure mm -hmm. have you ever been to that point where you thought how do I move on from this yeah I've been there a few times before um, just, I mean, in the past, like getting caught up in results and just struggling to put down my run. Um, I've had a few breakdowns, um, a big one a few years ago at Deer Valley, and, and I just wasn't having any fun with it. Yeah. Um, but luckily, I had my amazing mom there who, yeah. I mean, her pep talk was, you know, if you're having fun, if you love it and want to do it, do it for that. Don't yeah. do it for the medals and the results. and and everything else. So that's just an important lesson and always listen to mom. I hope my kids exactly. are listening right now. <laughs> All right, we'll head to Jalen's <laughs> social media to follow along on her post-Olympic journey and tune in for more Olympic coverage tonight at 8 p.m. on NBC and Peacock. Congrats again, Jalen. Thank you so much. Yeah.